So why am I spending a couple hours a month on social media? Because this is where people's attention is and where people's eyeballs are. You no longer see people walking down the street reading the newspaper. That was back in the 1920s and 30s. Now, people walk down the street staring at their phone. That is where the attention is. So that's where I need to be for my clients. When I'm representing a listing or a development and a seller, I can't tell you how many buyer leads I get from posting about the listing and talking about the listing. They reach out and it turns into a showing. I can't tell you how many realtors, other realtors, because there's probably about 10,000 who follow my channels, reach out after I post something. Hey, when can I get in? Tell me more about this property. How many are left? So that's where the eyeballs are, so that's where I am. These social media platforms are also a place where I can go in and send a super targeted ad. So if I have a home up for sale, I can go into Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of them, and run an ad, a paid ad, and I can target the type of person I wanna hit. So I can say, okay, run an ad for my listing at ABC Street and target men and women between the age of 30 and 60 who fit this demographic and who've recently been in their web browser searching any of the following topics. Buy a new home, relocate to Philly, mortgage calculator, get a loan, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then my money will be spent targeting those people who fit that demographic. One other thing to consider is, as I'm consistently on social media, being a thought leader in the real estate industry locally, and consistently giving tips and consistently informing, it adds to my credibility as people check me out, and that adds to the credibility of any property I'm representing.